uh, this video uh, talks about the uh, winding pitches in the uh, rotating machines now there are different types of terminologies that we use in uh, calculation and all now uh, the pole uh, pole pitch is also one of the term that we use during the calculation so we have pole pitch then we have back pitch we have front pitch coil pitch and commutator pitch now this uh, coil pitch we also call it as a coil spin or winding pitch now the pole pitch it is the uh, distance okay between uh, two successive poles now that uh, distance uh, can be measured in the electrical degree this can also measure in the uh, mechanical degree and we can also measure in terms of number of armature slots okay per pole so in the diagram here in order to calculate the uh, in order to calculate the uh, pole pitch now this uh, figure uh, the circuit uh, that uh, diagram i've shown here has four poles okay two north pole and two south pole and the number of slot okay number of armature slots uh, this machine have is 12 okay it starts from one and it is 12 now if you divide okay if you divide uh, this uh, total number of armature slots okay uh, 12 divided by 4 then we get 3 so which means the pole pitch okay the pole pitch of this machine is 3 armature slots per pole now this is how we have to measure in terms of armature slots but we can also measure in terms of like a uh, mechanical degree so we have to measure like this in terms of degree but we can also measure in terms of the total number of armature slots okay armature slots per pole the, so this is the uh, meaning of the uh, pole pitch and then now let's uh, uh, discuss about the um, uh, front pitch back pitch and uh, okay we also have the coil pitch and the commutator pitch okay we have uh, four more uh, to be discussed now let's uh, take an example okay let's take an example of this this figure uh, your back pitch is three and you have front pitch two and commutator pitch as one and then in the machine shown here in the diagram okay in the diagram uh, we have four number of poles and uh, okay 12 number of armature slots and 12 uh, 12 uh, commutator segments okay now, the middle one is the commutator segment now if you draw the if you draw the circuit diagram if you draw the uh, winding okay now let's first consider about the lap winding lap winding now in case of the lap winding okay now you have like uh, that the back pitch given is uh, three now in order to calculate the back pitch let's say that if uh, your uh, starting coil is starting from the first commutator commutator segment one one and passing through this slot one then from here you have to take that since back pitch is given as three so one plus three which means at the somewhere at four it should come back and then it should come back and then now as per the lab winding we should end at the successive commutator okay now this is for the pass winding and then the if you calculate the back pitch for this one so this back pitch is the distance between this sides of conductor and this sides of conductor okay pass the uh, pass sides of one conductor okay we're talking about only one conductor okay this side and this side so we have to measure the distance uh, between these two okay these two is called the your back pitch now in our case in order to calculate the back pitch it is 
4 minus 1 is equal to 3. This is what we have assumed as a 3. That's the DNA. Okay, we have uh, taken 3. And now, in order to understand the uh, in order to understand the front pitch, okay, front pitch, uh, it's the uh, distance measured uh, between the uh, second conductor of the uh, second sides of the first conductor to the first sides of the second conductor, okay, which means you have to measure from here, okay, from here you have to measure in this direction, so it's given as two in our case, okay. In our case, we are we are taking two. So let's try to pass draw the uh, web. I mean, draw the uh, winding for the uh, sec uh, for the second conductor, and then let's explain. Now, as for the web winding, as for the web winding, the second conductor should start from the the uh, where that first conductor has been end in the commutator section. So this number two is the place where that we can start. Now from here. So you can start and then our winding is going and then we know that from the back pitch is 3 so we have to again add 2 plus 3 so it should uh, okay somewhere it should come from the 5 and then ends at commutator segment 3. Now in order to calculate the front pitch it's a distance between distance between okay uh, I will highlight this one um okay distance between the second sides of the pass conductor okay this is the second sides of the pass conductor to the pass sides of the second conductor okay this is the one so this distance okay this distance this distance is called the front pitch now this is how we should understand about the back pitch and the front pitch in order to in order to calculate the uh, back pitch it's the distance between the uh, uh, two ends of the conductor so for example if you can say about that red conductor it is starting from here starting from here and then ending at this one so this distance okay and this distance from here to here is called the back pitch and from the second uh, sides of the past conductor to the past sides of the second conductor is called the front pitch so this is the difference that we have and uh, for the left winding uh, if uh, we are talking about the uh, simplex winding then our commutator pitch is uh, plus one for the progressive nature of winding and if it is retrogressive then our commutator pitch will be negative one for the retrogressive nature of winding and then uh, if uh, like our winding is duplex duplex then uh, you can expect okay uh, uh, you can have that commutator pitch as plus or minus two and then if it is duplex okay if it's duplex then you have uh, plus or minus three and then for the multiplex Then you can have m number of okay plus or minus m so this is the difference and uh, okay uh, now uh, now in regards to the coil pitch okay let's discuss about the coil pitch okay now coil pitch okay this is the third uh, slot okay now coil pitch is the distance okay uh, first let me try to erase this one mm -hmm. we have okay south pole here now uh, coil pitch or we also call it as a coil span or we also call it as a winding uh, pitch now this is the distance between the beginning of the two conductors so which means you have to measure the coil pitch in our case we can measure the coil pitch between these two okay or we can also calculate that for the lap winding if it is lap winding okay uh, still i have to clean this
uh, for the uh, for the uh, lap winding for the lap winding your coil pitch okay if it is represented by the y coil pitch will be equal to back pitch minus front pitch now in our case we have back pitch 3 and front uh, front pitch is 2 so coil pitch is also 1 so that's all about the uh, competitor winding i mean uh, the the winding winding pitches uh, in case of the lap winding so in the next video uh, we are going to discuss about the uh, this wind, uh, pitch uh, i mean the winding pitches in terms of the lap winding